Hey, good morning, guys. It is uh, what I think is going to be our last real day here on site, and we got to start off by getting this big garage door uh, header wrapped with some coil stock. Now, since it's not just a straight flat ceiling, we got to do a little bit of math, and that's going to help us with uh, finding out where our angle is. So, the bottom cord of this truss is uh, just under 212. So, I'm just going to punch that into my calculator, and that will give me. And that will give me the exact angle that I need. that header we just got that header detail whipped out and from the ground it looks phenomenal actually it looks really good even when you're up close but after lunch this is all we got left right there and then it's cleanup time which is great today's uh, day number I don't know maybe it's 15 or 16 definitely probably five or five days maybe over where I thought we would have been uh, that's the that's the beauty of working in the winter time it's just the way it goes so you ready for ready for lunch Craig where are we going today Oh my god, I worked out this morning, dude. You don't even care about me and my body. I'm getting older. I gotta take care of myself. Um, where do you wanna go then? No, Old Taco man. Bell sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I should have put the ruler on this train and got my cut real quick.
All right, this window behind me here is pretty exciting. I took a lot of suggestions from the YouTube uh, video when I did the uh, man cave series and we did that metal flashing this one is going to have the same metal wall up here in this window But I agree. I think the metal flashings could be improved upon we just used like a vinyl composite um, Trim board up here ripped it for our jam extensions. I went ahead and I siliconed it in now This is where you know, I guess I'll find out if that was a bad idea or not but I wanted to just adhere it. I didn't have any um, like paneling glue or anything. Silicone does a really good job and I've got it kind of wedged in here. So hopefully when it sets up, it can't go anywhere anyway. We're going to then silicone into the, or put a sealant at the window also. So I don't see it going anywhere. And then I'll just go ahead and do a standard J channel around this opening for our steel to be accepted. And I think, I think this is gonna be a really good look and I'm excited. I don't know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you like this? Or do you think the metal that we were doing before is just as good, better, or worse? This is about $60 in material per window and probably a lot quicker to do as well. You need my help? I don't know. Time's gonna tell here really quickly if I can do it or not. I know, but now I'm like stuck up top, I'm stuck down low. Come up there. There we go. I just don't have that long arms. I just wanted to see your your window. How do you like it? You did an okay job, brother. I did real decent, didn't I? Nice reveal. Yeah. That's a good way to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Not bad. Now we'll go ahead and make sure we remove those kind of cross buck looking things. They're just there while the adhesive uh, basically hardens. I'm really happy with how these windows turned out. I think that we just found out the way we're gonna be trimming our interior windows for the foreseeable future. So thanks to everybody out there that kind of pushed me along to do this different technique instead of the metal. The new truck, he said. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> he said he wanted a truck bigger than yours. Okay. Doesn't everybody? Even you want that. You gotta need my help. This? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I got this. I need me. Gotta be careful, you know I don't have no gloves on. I like to do this, I like to do the reverse. Yeah. Ah, oh, the finish, man, is where it's at. Is there a way to opening higher? I'm too short for this. How can you be too short? Bro, what was I born with? I was born with smart, speed, strength. Just not height? Just not height. <laughs> Dude, you're like 5'11". Bro, man. I'd be too perfect if I was uh, a 5'10". Five, five, Why did God spend so much time on you making you so perfect, dude? I don't know. Yep. I didn't get anything. I need jeans. You know what they I, say. I earned all mine. Earned all yours? Yep. Some people think I was just blessed, Greg. It's not true. I just worked harder. Just worked harder, he says. 
Yeah. It's respectable. That, uh, that video we made. Which one? That one we made of uh, doing um, swag. Swag. Putting the. Yeah, we did that. Uh, put the attic access in over there at Flight Center. Oh, yeah, dude. I totally forgot about that. In fact, that video series, there's a couple different, like, good videos that I, I just never. Never used. Okay, so we're not friends, I guess. Some of them just an embarrassment. <laughs> Shorty make short stuff. Well, it fits like a glove. We are basically wrapped up. I mean, I do have to trim. Uh, the windows down low where the uh, the plywood is because I didn't have the appropriate trim and I like to do that all in the comfort and I guess the safety of my shop where I can make sure everything is perfect. So I'll go ahead and I'll make those up and I'll bring them back and I'll also put the sign that goes up on the gable. I do like to always maybe confirm with my customer that they're okay with that. Usually they're like, yeah, of course I want you to do that. Um, but I'm really happy how this turned out. I hope you guys are, uh, you know, happy that you wasted and spent all of your time watching these videos. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys stick around. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we got a lot of cool projects coming in 2019 that I hope you stick around with and I will do my best to share as much as possible. Now, if there's something about a particular point in the build that you want more information on, make sure you let me know what that is and I'll do the best I can to show that. But this 48 by 56 shop, it's completed for us basically as far as we're gonna take it until the concrete is done. Once the concrete is done, we'll come back, we'll put the mezzanine in, and I'll take you through that also and I'll add that. You know, it all depends on how late of a winter we have and what the conditions are like so a concrete truck can get back here. This is uh, probably gonna be the last of the uh, workshop build series for now, but we'll be back. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll bring you guys back here, don't worry. Watch it, got our got glasses on? Yep, take you first. Safety third. It's third. Oh, what's, what's first? What's first and second? Profit. So making money. Profit, okay. So once you've made your money. Once you've made money. Then you gotta make sure you look good. Look good, second. Okay. So like new clothes. Clothes aren't a big deal. Truck. New clothes, fresh cuts, nice kicks, truck. And then you start thinking. Beard? Epic well, beard? Yeah, beard is beard is key. Here, okay. you can get that. What well, if you can't grow a beard? Well, don't even matter if you make it to third then. Oh, then just give up? Don't give up. No. But if you can't grow a beard, then... There's always a chance, Greg. Okay, so look, look good second. We've already gone over this. You make money, then you worry about looking good. And once you've accomplished those, then you make you know, you know make sure you're you're safe. Because you want to prolong that okay. that streak of making money and looking good. Oh, wait, were you talking? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. ready? Sun feels good. Dude, it feels amazing. Okay, now take a step back because if it looks straight, it is straight. You need to go to the left. Yeah, I see that. Wait, too much. Yeah, all right. Go back a little. No, no, to your right. Okay, no, to your left. Hold that. Now I'm gonna have you go look at it because you have a different eyeball than me. Not wrong, but not always right. Okay, which way? Needs the bottom to go left. You think? A little bit. Okay, let me look at it again. There's a weird shadows going on, and you know the right now it's the midsummer solstice. Yeah. And there's a tide, high tide with the high moon. High tide. Yeah, yeah, that affects everything. Yeah. Full I think moon. It looks pretty good. I think the blood moon too. No, that was last month. That was last month. Uh oh. This one is the key to everything. Okay, let's make sure we like it. I like it. Good enough for the girls you run with. Much better than the girls you run with. Nice. Let's see how she looks. I buy it, man. Well, there we go. How cool is that? That never gets old. I think uh, ever since I've done those building signs, I've just always loved driving by the buildings uh, later on down the road and just, uh, I guess, 
I think we take a lot of pride in what we do and that's what's awesome about the trades, about working with your hands, about making things is that it's like, you know, you can feel good about it and who doesn't like to do that? So thanks a lot for, you know, following along on the build. I'll definitely get back to this one once the concrete's poured because we got to build that mezzanine. So stick around. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and thanks a lot for the support. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Is it?